today we're doing DIY perimeter pest control and we're about to start right now. Hi everyone, I'm Rob, the Average Lawn Guy. Thanks for tuning in. If you're interested in DIY landscaping or anything landscaping in general, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So today I'm doing perimeter pest control and the good thing about it is that you have some options here. Now the very first step in any process, you want to clear up any debris that's near the foundation or on the lawn itself, which is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna blow some leaves into my wooded areas just to keep the foundation clear. Now I've spoken about this in my other videos, the importance of getting rid of leaves on your lawn. And it's almost always never a one-time process. So unless you have like one tree in which all the leaves drop in a short period of time, you're usually gonna have to do this at least for a couple weeks. So what I do is blow the leaves off my lawn and make sure my foundation is clear. So whether you blow your leaves, bag it, and mulch it, or just mulch, it's important just to keep that turf clear and to keep the foundation clear. Although we're not spraying the turf today, we're mainly focused on the foundation, you still want to get those leaves off. Now these chemicals here are very good options, seven and spectricide, or you can go commercial here and use a product called permethrin or a product from Talstar, which has the ingredient bifenthrin. So all these products here are good choices. Two of them are from the big box stores in which you can easily get. The other two you can also easily get, but they're more commercialized. You can get them from websites such as Do My Own, or you can get them from Amazon. I'll link those in the description. Whatever you choose to use, bear in mind, all these require some type of sprayer. I highly recommend you get a backpack sprayer. It's useful for many things, not just for pest control, but you can always use it later on to apply pre-emergence, post-emergence, uh, pest control. Um, you can treat the perimeter with that. You can treat the grass with that. There's just so much uses for a backpack sprayer. So I highly recommend you look for one and invest in a good one. It'll pay off in the long run. Now, if you don't have a backpack sprayer or a pump sprayer of any kind, you can also go with the hose end sprayers. They sell hose end sprayers for these two at big box stores. And you can easily do the same thing for a perimeter pest control with a hose end sprayer. Now, in regards to what I'm gonna use today, it's really a toss up here. I can choose anything. They all have good long residual control which should get me through the fall winter season. So again, I mentioned here, you could use these two big box store products. The instructions are very clear, or you can get the hose end version of this, which will do the same exact thing. Now, the seven product in which you have to mix with a tank or backpack sprayer, the instructions here says four ounce per gallon of water. So you want to use about, if you're just treating just the foundation, you want to use about one to two gallons of water. So if I'm using one gallon, I'm going to mix four ounces of this product. If I'm using two gallons, I'm going to mix eight ounces of this product. The spectricide, triazicide, the instructions state to mix 1.5 fluid ounces in one gallon of water, which will treat 120 square foot. That should be enough for just a perimeter treatment. Again, if you're gonna use one gallon, you're gonna mix 1.5 of this product. If you're gonna mix two gallons, you're gonna mix, you're gonna add three ounces of this product. Now with the Tau Star, it gets a little bit tricky mixing this. It's actually not hard at all. So normally I would mix somewhere between one to three ounces per gallon of water with the towel star. The good thing about this is you it has a measurement device right on the bottle itself so you can get the exact 
dosage of what you need. So if you wanted to mix three ounces of this, you would simply add and then remove until you get three ounces. If you wanted two ounces of this, again, you would add and simply remove what you don't need. The permethrin, same thing. There's a measurement gauge right on top. It's kind of hard to see in the light, but it's there. And what you do to get this going is you kind of have to squeeze the bottle, let the liquid come up to get the exact measurement you need and you stop and then you pour. So I have one ounce here, so I'm gonna keep that for now. So my mixture today, I'm actually using the big box store version of seven and I'm gonna mix four ounces per gallon of water. So the mixture rate for this is four ounces per gallon of water. I'm going to mix up two gallons of water, so I'm going to add eight ounces of this. And to spike it a little bit, I'm going to add one ounce of the permethrin. Now in regards to what type of nozzle you use, you have two choices. You have the adjustable tip nozzles. This is the type where you turn the nozzle itself to get a wide stream or you turn it back the other way to get a narrow stream. You could use this. But then you have to be mindful that you may have to sweep. Well, you're going to have to sweep back and forth in a wide pattern just to get good wide coverage. The nozzle I prefer to use is the wide tip nozzle. This is the type that automatically sprays very wide and it's easy to get a good wide coverage. Remember, you want to spray your foundation about three feet up and about three to five feet down the other way, giving a good wide coverage. Now, the very first thing you need to do, it doesn't matter who you are, is you need to put on the right equipment for this. You need to wear gloves, you need to wear a long sleeve shirt, you need to wear pants, well, excuse me, you need to wear long pants, and you need to wear boots. I highly recommend you wear at least two layers of socks and find some type of eye protection. Now you don't need to wear special goggles for this. You can just simply wear sunglasses. Now after you put on the right equipment on, the very first thing you wanna do is fill your tank sprayer. If you're gonna use two gallons, I would just go ahead and fill up two gallons right away. I've actually decided to fill up three gallons. So that's 12 ounces of seven and three ounces of the permethrin. Next, before you mix any kind of solution, you want to shake the bottle up and you want to shake it really good. Give it about a good 10 second shake. You measure your product and then you pour it in. So I'm using three gallons and I'm mixing in 12 ounces of the seven and then I'm adding three ounces of the permethrin.
Now here are some key points. First, you want to take your time and go slow. You don't want to rush this. You want to apply this heavy at the foundation. This is the key to getting good coverage. Second point, you want to go wide. You want to go three feet up and about three to five feet down. You want a wide coverage. This is the best way to get the protection you need. Third point, you want to make sure you get anything that can lead inside your house, such as windows, water spigots, air conditioned hoses, drain pipes. Fourth point, pay attention to the weather pattern over the next two to three months. If you have a rainy season, this is going to wash away the chemical barrier and you may have to reapply again. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a like and leave a comment below and tell me how do you deal with bugs. Remember, roaches and ants are trying to find somewhere warm to go and that's inside your home. Until then, thanks for watching. I don't know what this is, but the bug barrier is doing its job. Somehow this bug got in. But because I applied the bug barrier, it is not going to live to see another day. Slow death. <laughs>